Hi, Randy from DPI. Today I'd like to talk to you about my Series 71 brake calipers. On these calipers, they feature internal crossover tubes, passages drilled top and bottom. Uh, you could just switch the bleeder around from top to bottom uh, if you want a left or right caliper, if it's not a front staggered piston caliper. Uh, right here we have a, the bridge here that I don't know if you can see, but it's uh, incorporated into the side halves. Uh, for strength and shearing. Down here we've incorporated a strap that makes uh, very strong for flex on this caliper. Stainless steel pistons, three and a half inch mount, standard, great for using on uh, your touring cars, late model pavement, dirt, great for uh, dirt late model uh, rear calipers. And if you have a uh, doing the hot rods, you want something a little different. This is another caliper uh, that would work very well for your your street performance hot rod. Uh, as you can tell, it's a three bolt design. Uh, two with larger three fasteners and one with the five sixteenths fastener. Uh, very strong caliper here. I want to tell you what's different from this caliper uh, from our competitors and just give you a little information about our calipers, what we do uh, to improve the braking performance on your race car. On the bores, it's really critical that we get the measurements right from the pistons to the bore. So what we do, we mic all the pistons and we do a dial bore gauge to our calipers and we get the settings that we want. And so we're not just picking out of a big pile pistons and just slapping them together. These are all handcrafted. Um, every part here, fasteners and all, are all American made, real important to us at the, at the DPI company. So that's kind of a big critical piece that uh, makes this caliper work so well because we get the measurements perfect. The other thing I want to show you is we're using a round O-ring. I don't know if you can see that, but a round O-ring. The benefits to using an out round O-ring um, the piston release is much better. You don't have the drag as a square O-ring. Um, what we found, we like to put a conical spring behind the piston to control the piston rollback from the round O-ring. And this just keeps a little bit of pressure on the piston. So we have, when you step on the brake pedal, you have a nice brake, firm brake pedal. And you still have the good characters of the round O-ring. Next thing what I've done, we worked on this bridge here, and this bridge with a locking device here, we're able to lock it into the center body here, into the outer half. And right here, it'll lock in like that, have a fastener that goes through here, and that's able to control shear of this caliper trying to shear. Uh, we worked hard on getting flex of the caliper, uh, make it stronger, and with this. Uh, uh, locking bridge device here has been a um, really big improvement. Um, one more thing what we've done on your center block, what we've done, you can see here the, the tab and right here the piece will lock into here and they just don't, you just can't go and push them in, they actually a press fit and that once again makes that caliper much stronger and it doesn't try to shear on you. Um, with, with that, we've taken another step and even gone with uh, two 3 8 fasteners, rolled threads in there with one 5 16. So it's three bolt design with one 5 16 fastener. Uh, once again, uh, much stronger. All our fasteners, everything that we do here is all American made, um, hand assembled um, with pride. Order your catalog today. Go to www.dpiracingproducts.com or call us 707-283-4374.